This is Linda Arpino from the Pazariki Arpino Realty Team, and we're continuing with our Learn series, and today we have two women from Perfectly Placed for You, Jan and Liz, and they're stages that we use quite a bit, and we're asking them one question today. If you only had one tip to give a homeowner about staging, what would you pick? Well, first of all, thanks for having us. Sure. Um, okay, so there's so many things that we'd, we'd love to say to every client um, to give them the most information possible, but I would say, and you hear it a lot, this phrase in the staging world, it would be, um, less is more when you go to stage a room, for sure. And the reason being is that we want home, but we want buyers who are coming in to be able to visualize the space themselves so that they can imagine themselves in that space. And when you take things away from a bookshelf, from a floor, you're seeing the hardwood floor, you're seeing the architectural features in that room. So that's very right. helpful. So buyers will often, um, when they attempt to stage on their own, they will often confuse the difference between staging and decorating. Mm -hmm. And with staging, you know, you don't, you only need key pieces to establish uh, function and scale. Um, and to draw attention to the selling features. They have to remember that their things are not going to be the things that they sell, it's the actual property. So, like Liz just said, selling features need to be really highlighted. Again, the, the beautiful fireplace, the hardwood floors, um, the beautiful window, um, because ultimately that's, you know, that's what's going to stay. So having that um, be in the space is, is important. So too much can deter from that and open space is their friend. Exactly. Exactly. All right, well, thank you very much for taking the time. We appreciate it. You're, well, welcome. you're welcome. Thanks.